Aloha guys, Justin here with yet another episode of Fish and Dive Hawaii where we give you the best fishing and spearfishing tips here in the Aloha State. Today's video is going to be kind of a short one but we're going to be looking at how to look for better fishing and diving spots. Or even if you guys already have a fishing or diving spot that you'd like to go to, what makes that spot so good? What makes that spot so bad sometimes? Or if you guys can find better ones or recreate ones. Like me for instance, I don't like to dive or fish at the same spot all the time. I like to change it up, maybe even on different sides of the island. So here's a great tool for you guys to utilize. Now the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to go to your browser and just type in google.com. Once you get to Google, just punch in maps. Oh my gosh, don't know how to type. All right, and Google will take you right here. You can also use Google Earth. I didn't download that yet. This is a brand new MacBook Pro, um, so I do not have that yet. And just kind of zoom out and kind of get a bearings of where you're at. If you guys are on different islands, you can kind of zoom into whatever island you are. You know, this might seem kind of amateur for a lot of people, and you guys might think this is kind of gimmicky. But trust me, it does work, and I have had some success um, using this method. So I'm from the North Shore. I love to fish and dive on the North Shore, and I always kind of check out spots. For instance, what you're going to need to do is zoom in over here. If you guys live on Oahu and dive at the North Shore at all, you guys are probably familiar with Mokalia Beach Park. Really good reefs out in front of it. You just kind of zoom in on it. Go to your top left corner and just tap on satellite and boom it's going to show you all the reefs all of the reef structures that you're dealing with and if you guys you know i'm going to let you in on a little secret over here once you're diving you park at the end right over here you walk down to your left right by these vacation homes punch yourself through this channel right here and then you can kind of dive out here and hit up all these reefs on the outside. Lots of game. Um, there's also, you know, in between Cat Moklea and Moklea Beach Park. I have run into quite a few sharks, but nothing too crazy. Just to give you guys a heads up. But this is, this is what you're going to do pretty much. Whether you're shore casting, whipping, whatever. Just click on the top left corner. Go to satellite and boom. Any, any reef you want. Anyways, I don't like to put this the satellite imaging on right away is because all of the, the greenery and everything can be distracting. And when you're, when you're looking at it without the satellite layer, right here, boom, it's a little bit easier to comprehend where you're at. And let's just see an example again. You can kind of just look for where you want to be fishing or diving and kind of get to, get to it. And then, and then you're going to want to flip the satellite on. And so yeah, I'll show you another example. There's a big channel right over here by the pole fields. You guys may already have heard of this one. And boom, look how, look how big that sand channel is. This is something that you would, the only way you would be able to see this is if you go there yourselves. And even this beach is kind of blocked off. It's a long walkway right here and it's private access pretty much all the way down. So unless you're gonna walk all the way down here walk all the way to your left you won't ever see the sand channel and look you just sit from the comfort of your phone or computer and you can find everything that you need right here all right my video is kind of running long already but that's pretty much how you're gonna find good fishing and diving grounds let me know if you guys want to make want me to make a part two of this video i can very so easily do that I love talking about things like this, kind of the more technical side of the hobby or sport. And um, one other thing, one extra thing that you're going to run into is a bunch of waves. Now, if, if there's wave cover, um, it's kind of hard to see what the reefs look like. And sometimes some areas will be blacked out on the reef. But I'm not so sure if um, Google Earth is different. I would give it a try. But again you might have that's the only thing you might run into problems with and also dirty water like you can kind of see right over here anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned something new from it comment down below if you've actually used this before or if you have any kind of other strategy or maybe some other um, mapping system 
that kind of give you give you guys a different angle but again this is justin here from fish and dive hawaii i hope you enjoyed this episode and hopefully i'll have one coming up um, next week sometime so we're gonna be trying to do weekly uploads on this channel but anyways i'm running along so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video leave a like or subscribe down below all right mahalo Thank you.